Hey everyone, Brittany here from By Brittany Goldman. On this channel, I share videos about DIY, home and garden stuff, plants, crafts, pretty much anything that I can make and get my hands on. And today I am sharing a review of an absolute DIY powerhouse machine. This is the Xtool P2 CO2 laser. The fine folks at Xtool sent me this laser to review and I'm super excited to show you some of its capabilities. If you saw my previous review on the Xtool M1 machine, you'll know that that is a diode laser machine. This is a CO2 laser machine. So very similar, both awesome machines, but the CO2 laser is much more powerful. And there are some other differences that I will outline in this video as well. So this is not going to be an unboxing and setup video. Um, there are a bunch of those already on YouTube. And honestly, the setup is pretty easy on this machine and unboxing videos can be kind of boring if there are a bunch out there. Um, it came very well packaged. Just know that it's super duper heavy, definitely a two person lift and required a dolly to get it off the truck. So keep that in mind if you are ordering a P2 machine. So what I am going to do today is show you some footage with me talking over top of it. So you can see the laser machine actually working. I'll show you the machine and I'll talk about some of the things that I like about this machine and that make it a little bit different um, and more capable than the M1, which is also an awesome machine. Um, but there are definitely some projects that you need a CO2 laser like the Xtool P2 to con complete. And that is, for example, larger project spaces, thicker materials and clear acrylic. So I'll show you some of those projects. Now let's head down to my dark workspace um, and I will start showing you some B-roll footage and walking you through some different things. Okay, so let's jump in with a quick look here at the P2 next to the M1. You can see it is quite a bit larger than the M1. It's only a little bit deeper, but it is almost double the length. So it gives you a much larger project area, even without the pass through capability add on. So as a first project, I wanted to try and replicate some of the houseplant trellises that I made on my M1 using uh, one eighth of an inch basswood. So I used quarter inch Baltic birch and yes, it does generate a lot of smoke when you're cutting wood with a co2 laser so you definitely want to make sure that you are appropriately venting uh, with your exhaust pipe at a window or into the smoke purification system which is what i am doing here and i've been very pleased with the results of that as well um, i was able to cut through in one pass fairly quickly this very large version of my monstera leaf trellis and i'm still working with some of the settings that i want to use to get the best results with the most minimal scorching on this um, one fourth of an inch baltic birch plywood i cut a bird bar a little bird feeder out of the same baltic birch plywood and got great results on that too and this one also required a clear acrylic piece in the front now the m1 is a diode laser so it cannot cut clear acrylic but the uh, p2 cut it out quickly and with fantastic results it's pretty incredible Um, and then I also made a little squirrel picnic table feeder out of uh, one fourth of an inch Baltic birch as well. Got great results with that. And um, sorry, I'm kind of giving you guys a bit of <laughs> whiplash with my my amateur camera work here, but you get the you get the drift. Um, and I was very happy with how this cut out on one pass too. I will say in this video, it does kind of look like there's some serious scorching, but in reality, the pieces are kind of starting to fall through the cutout areas. So you're really just seeing a lot of a shadow. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some of the very cute finished products that I've made with my P2 so far. So this is a very cute birdhouse camper. Honestly, uh, I'm just gonna give this to my daughter to use to play with because it's so cute. And I've made like 10 birdhouses already with my various machines. So yeah, this is super cute. This came. This file came with multiple sizes, some of which you will need the larger work area on the P2 to complete. And then in testing the larger trellis size, you can see the difference here. This is the one that I made on the M1 out of, um, this was one fourth of an inch thick uh, plywood and this was the same one fourth of an inch thick. This took so long to cut on the M1. Like it did a great job and I love it, but it took so long to cut through this. Um, and this one, I did a very large size and the same thickness. And I think it cut in like, I don't know, maybe like eight minutes, a little bit less, um, pretty intricate cut too. And it did an awesome job. 
And then of course my little squirrel feeder piece here. Um, this did an awesome job to cut out in under 10 minutes while I ate my lunch. And then I glued it together before going back to work. And then I have this little terracotta pot that I'm going to glue on top here and put some critter food in. Um, so I'm gonna go hang this up today. Super excited about this one and really happy with how quickly and accurately the P2 cut it. I'm gonna take you outside to show you the bird bar now, the one that had the clear acrylic piece in it. And then this is the bird bar we made. It's really a bird or squirrel bar. They can eat out of this little trough here and you can see the clear acrylic piece we had to cut. This flips up when you need to fill it back up and it is so cute, all the little bar stools. All right, everyone, so that is a wrap on my initial thoughts about the Xtool P2 CO2 laser machine and some of the first projects I've made with it. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them below in the comments. And I'm also linking to a couple of the files for the projects that I did and outlined in this video. Um, yeah, so hit the follow button, stay tuned for more projects. And until then, happy making.